Welcome to Dr. Taz Live at 9, Dr. Taz Coaching Moments. Please like, share, tag this video. Please like, share, tag this video. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope that your week has gotten off to a great start. This morning, I wanted to talk a little bit about being lost. You know, often we think about the uh, lost sheep. When we're thinking about lost things, but I was thinking about the prodigal son and the real significance of finding your way home. I was at a conference recently and it was amazing the items that were lost every day. Uh, people lost their uh, conference badge, you know, had their name on it. People lost uh, jackets, people lost their keys. It was just so amazing, the items that were lost. And of course, when folks found their items, they were quite ecstatic. And that reminded me of the son who wanted everything that was coming to him. He wanted his inheritance. And his father gave it to him, and he went off, and he spent his money quickly, you know, making good friends, so he thought. And when the money ran out, so did his friends. And he didn't have anywhere to live. And so he found himself homeless, hungry, and without a job. And so he found work feeding pigs. And he thought to himself, you know, his circumstances had really changed. And even the servants at his father's house had more than what he did. And so he eventually made his way home, and his father ran out to meet him. And the father was overcome with emotion because his son had returned home. Well, understand, when you look at customs, the son is coming in, but he had really broken the laws of that time. And if his father had not come out and met him, he would have been stoned. But by the father coming out and meeting him, he was actually protecting his son. And we know that he asked that, uh, the best ring be put on his finger and that uh, the best robe and that he prepared a feast. All of that is to illustrate that he was being accepted back into the fold or back into the family. Well, you know, he returned. And so when you find that item that's lost, you're ecstatic. Or when you find yourself back in the place that you should have been, that perhaps you thought was not the place for you, there's a joy that overcomes us because we now are at home. So I challenge you this morning to think about perhaps where you have been lost. You, know, you can be lost in your path, uh, path spiritually, your path as far as your work, relationships. You can be lost in the city somewhere. Because that happens too. But wherever you've got a loss, where you just can't quite find your way, I recommend that you start seeking a higher power, but also understanding what you may have had that you thought was unimportant at that time. And then determine if perhaps what you had was what you needed all the time to take you to your next destination. So... Don't forget, you know, lost and found, the prodigal son found his way back, his father received him, and his father made sure that the community understood that he had been found and he was being accepted back into the fold. So keep seeking and you will find what perhaps you have misplaced because you didn't think it was that significant at the time. This has been Dr. Taz, live at 9, Dr. Taz Coaching Moments. Please like, share, tag this video. Please like, share, tag this video. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye now.